Yo, what's going on YouTube? How's it going everybody? So today we're doing another cane video. I'm going to teach you guys a little thing about pathing. So first things first, I'm going to be doing a full clear this game. See, I'm in a comp where I can gank any lane and it will give me orbs. So you're probably wondering how exactly can I explain pathing in this video? Well, there's not really too many paths. I have a bunch of different paths for challenger, but I'd say there's three main paths for lower elo. And as a cane, it's actually a lot easier than other champions to path. And I'll explain it as I'm pathing. So first things first, you know, I'm gonna do a full clear. Wait, let me. Uh, I actually got a 14-day suspension from Riot BC of my toxicity after I called people dogs, <laughs> since they were flaming me, even though I was 24 thirds blue cane. <laughs> Bible thump. F in the chat for my my fellow cane man who got banned. All right. So what was I saying? Okay. So. As Kane, it's very easy to path because you always path towards where you want to get your form. So ideally, if I want to get my red form, typically their top laner is mostly a melee, which means, you know, melee is the one who gives you red orbs. Ranges are the one who give you your blue orbs. So Vayne is range, so I was I'm doing full clear. WTF, time to fix that. Yo, okay, thanks so much for that, Risa. Appreciate it so much. We're back to the same clip. Um, so... Ideally, if I want to path up, then I'm on and I'm on this side of the map, then I'll do a full clear. But if I was on the opposite side of the map, then I would do my wolf start. Now, if you guys know my wolf start from another video, you do wolves, you do raptors, you do red, krugs, and then you can reset. And you don't require a leash. So that's two paths. And let's say if I want to path bot this game, I would have done wolves on this side. Now, there's actually a... Oh, wait, I got my blue cheese. Oi. Wait, that's so weird. She went from her red to my blue as a Vi. And she didn't even get the Grom. So she used her smite. What? So what was I saying? Oh, yeah. And then there's one more path where you do a three camp and then gank. Okay, I got your flash now. <laughs> okay, I mean, well, she got my blue, so I'm just going to punish her back here so how to deal when you're getting cheese in a scenario like this where they take your camp early on from some weird pathing I guess uh, so pretty much what I'm supposed to do is take her top side because if I run straight bot maybe I could contest the scuttle but at the same time I could just take her two camps and then I'll just gank top so it's pretty much what I'm looking to do Mordekaiser is like really far off so I'm not even gonna try and force it it's kind of how you gank you have to play off your laner but a lot of times your laners uh, they're not on the same page as you, so you just have to do your own thing, you know? Alright, fodder 1v1 after. Uh, okay. And then he's okay. Oh, as a jungler, you have to understand, boys, no matter what happens in a lane, if they die, it's your fault. Sadly. Alright, well, I'm ahead of the vibe pretty well. Vi is a jungler that almost always looks a solo dragon, so this is like a very few scenario where I would go boots instead of a long sword, because most of the time um, you go long sword for more damage. You already have so much mobility as a cane, so you just go more damage. But since I can get boots and a control ward, that's pretty huge. Just let me get it, please. Okay, this guy tried to take all the kills. It wanted to be three and zero. Oh. Okay, I mean I respect, but. You know, I think I think your boy could do very well with kills. But yeah. A lot of what pathing is, is because this guy flaming who is he flaming? Oh, he's talking to Mordekaiser. Oh, okay, I thought he was talking to me. I was like, what? A lot of what Kane is is just farming, and the way you look for gangs is you through your camp. So your camps spawn every two and a half minutes. So you just have to remember to be at that place when you're at that camp. You know, this is kind of like when you invade. When you go for an invade, sometimes you'll notice the junglers leave the camp there. Like they they won't take the entire camp. They'll leave like a raptor or two, right? It's because it's not they're not sure if they can come back in two and a half minutes and be in the enemy jungle and be able to fight or contest that camp because they're not sure about their team's pressure, right? So this is why sometimes you'll see junglers leave a, a, a like a little raptor or a little krug behind because they're not sure if they can come back and get it easy. And it means that the enemy, they're gonna need to get that camp eventually, so it respawns in two and a half minutes, so it kind of puts them behind. But if you can actually uh, get their camp at two and a half minutes, then it gets you way, way, way ahead. So that's a lot of how jungling is. Jungling and pathing is very, um, takes a lot of time to get used to, and it's a lot of watching the map and just feeling comfortable, but 
once you learn it, it's one of the major key components to playing Kane. It's very, very crucial. If you know how to path properly, you can get a huge lead. And obviously, it carries your early game. Because Kane's one of the weakest early game junglers by far. It's what he's designed for. 100%. But the thing is, is that if you can get to your form safely... You, you see what I'm getting at? If you get to your form safely, that's when people are like, wow, this champ's so OP. But I'll, I'll be honest, yes. Kane, when he gets his form, is OP. But that's how his design is. He's meant to be weak early and OP when he gets his form. So the easier you can get to your form, the better it is, man. So I have a double long sword on her. Let's poke her out. I don't really mind getting red orbs, ideally. So let me explain this. This is another thing to do with pathing. This is just going to be a bunch of pathing explaining while I'm playing the game. So... I think I should go on the rise. Perfect. Okay. So, a lot of what your pathing is... So, let's say... Notice how you get blue or red orbs. It doesn't really matter, right? It doesn't really matter. Blue, red orbs. They all go into the same bar. And if you gank early then you're going to, um, what do we call it? You're going to be able to not get as many orbs because you don't get a lot of orbs early on. You get a lot of your orbs past like seven minutes. You start collecting a lot of orbs per fights because obviously per minute, your orb, your orb ability to collect goes up and up and up. So um, obviously if you gank a, a melee laner early on, it's not the worst thing ever. But ideally, because Kane is so weak early on, you want to camp the same lane over and over and over. So this is why I, if I want to go blue form, I'll path to go to whichever lane they have range in, you know? Like, I'll path to go bot over and over and over. Because if I gank them once, I'm not going to be able to kill them most of the time. I'll just get their sums. And then I'll path back down, and then they have no sums. So I kill them, right? So that's a lot of how you path with Kane. It's a lot of... It takes a lot of time to get used to, but it's really, really satisfying, and it's really good at solo carrying the game. All right, that's good. Mordekaiser got a kill. Perfect. And then when you get your form, you uh, you guys already know. You guys, hey, all my cane mains, you already know. I'll explain it for my non-cane mains that want to be cane mains, soon to be cane mains. I got you. Easy. But listen, <laughs> when you get your form, it's Snowball City, baby. Let me introduce you to Blue Cane. Your E goes from a 21 second CD time to a 6 second. It's actually 8, but with the CDR that I have, it's 6. And because, you know, blue buff gives 10% CDR. And your jungle item, 10% CDR. So, 6 second blue, or 6 second E that lasts for how long? A very long time. Buys right here. Oh! I don't want to use my ult yet. I'm going to angle it like that in case Ryze steps up. And now we get some deep vision in the enemy jung. Take all our camps. It's all about snowballing. So just playing fast tempo. Fast tempo means you're fighting. You're looking for camps. You're looking for invades. I don't tend to farm my camps too much. I'm just looking for fights and their camps. So this is a fight right here. I'm going to hug the wall. Okay. Okay, that's two. Okay. Okay, that's three. He's going to take it. He's, he's going to take it. Okay, I'm good. Okay, now we get blue. Actually, dragon. No, I'll, go, I'll go for dragon. All right. Easy peasy. So... Good plays being made here, boys. It's all about snowballing. Blue Kane's all about snowballing. And I think you guys will kind of understand why Blue Kane is a lot better in elos that aren't challenger. Because when you play in challenger, there's just so many ways to stop somebody from snowballing, right? Because people are a lot smarter, and that's why they're at challenger. They're a lot smarter, and they're playing champs that are a lot more strong, because their champions are not solo carries. They're team reliant, right? So... Kane is a good solo carry jungler. This is why people say he's OP, because he's the best solo carry jungler in the game. Does it mean he's a really good champ? No. His win rate is 50% solid. But he is very good at solo carrying, so if you are a lower elo player that is a really good Kane, you can climb and carry easy as is. But in Challenger, you'll see, he's. this is why he's not played competitively either, because a lot of times the best player on a team competitively is not the jungler. It's their mid, top, AD carry, you know, one of those. So... That's why some teams, when you see a Kane in competitive, it means their jungler is really good. Like, I remember uh, Levi, Levy, uh, however you say his name, from Gambit or Gigabyte Marines, whatever. Um, he was a really good player. I remember he played in NA too. <laughs> you know, I remember I went to his chat one time when he was playing in NA and he said, Karis, my best Kane. I was like, <gasps> I think that's the hardest. I fanboy. Second hardest. 
The first hardest was when Double Assault was the best graves in NA, but that's back in Season 7. A little bit of backstory, but either way, um... So, snowballing. Snowballing is all about just making picks, taking the enemy junks camps, looking for fights. Then taking objectives, of course. So, I got the cloud early. Now, I'm going to make a top play, take his top camps, get the rift. It's all about, like, going to the right areas. Respectable areas. So, I know there's no bot camp, so there isn't really much bot lane that's, like, tempting for me You're to want. Awesome. Yo, JJ, thanks so much for that reset, man. Okay, cancel her E. Or no, I didn't cancel her I stopped her from eating me by ulting early. With Vayne, you have to ult her early, otherwise she knocks you into a wall or something. And, and she goes invis. So, with Kane, never try and WQ her until it's too late. I mean, I threw my W out first. I just got, uh, I'd say lucky. Either way. Um, so, obviously, like I said, I took the bot side camps. I took the bot side objective. So, I look for the top side play and the top side camps. Top side objective, which is rift. And then, obviously, I'll use that rift to make up another bot side play to get the dragon. So this is how jungling is. It's all about path. And it's all about being in the right place at the right time. So you might notice some junglers are just always capable of being in the right place at the right time. And it's a lot of these basic things, getting them down. Just practice over and over and over. This is why people always say just play a lot, just play a lot, just play a lot. So so the more you play, the more you learn and you just soak it in. But this is like kind of a kind of a guide with Kane of how to path. It's just a lot of snowballing once you get your form. But early game, you're very respectful, very smart. The way you look for ganks is very... You're just a lot smarter. You have to play a lot smarter. And now I just get the objectives. And then I use this rift to get a uh, mid tower. You want to get all the tier 1 towers down. Obviously before you do anything crazy. Because it opens up the map. Which leads to you getting vision in the enemy jungle. You got to take camps. Look for more picks. Make more plays. I'm going to do something greedy. See. You don't have to do these type of plays. This is just something someone like me goes for. She has no Q. So... I'm gonna wait for her. Okay, I'll hit her with the outplay button. Cause I missed my W. Yeah, see that's that's just like greed, where if I had my flash and I use it for another play, it probably would have been smarter, but I'm like one of the the more you watch me, the more you'll probably realize I play very like stupid. Like I, I I just I like making plays, so it's like if there's a play to be made, if I mess it up, oh well, but if I make the play it's sick, because I just like outplaying. It's just too fun. But yeah, I don't know, that was kinda kind of foolproof because I had flash so good 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 so now I'm gonna get my top side camps just because I got a little bit of free time I'll look for her top side camps so I'll put my control in her jungle and then I'll rift mid look for look for the dragon see my team with all the gold they have from the plays we've been making and the gold see you have to think about it every time they die they're losing gold so every time Vi is not alive she can't be farming so I get to farm while she's not farming, and then I get to take her camp, so she can't farm the camps when she spawned. And I'm farming her camps and my camps, and I'm farming her team. So she's not getting gold, so she's weak. That means my teams can make plays easy. And then if I keep killing this guy, he can't farm and get ahead. He gets a kill, but he can't farm and get ahead, so he doesn't get a lead. So my team can make more plays. This is how you get your team to play better, is by making the enemy team more weak, more useless. So I have double the enemy jungle CS, I have the most kills, all the objectives. This is how you carry games as Kane, and solo carry champ. I don't think there's a champ in the jungle that's better at solo carrying. You can argue maybe like Rangar, Evelyn, um, Kha'Zix, Agrim. There's a lot of good solo carry jungles, but Kane is literally designed for it. And the thing is, this is just blue Kane. Now you run into red Kane, red Kane does... Listen, I don't I don't need to preach red cane to you boys. If you've seen a red cane once, you're like, wow, what is this? This is just the this is just the other form. This is just the 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 assassin form. Don't get me started on red cane. You wanna you wanna talk about solo carrying. I've solo carried more games than just about anybody with red cane. Okay, uh I had fisted. <laughs> My bad, I was too, too, too much into the conversation I entered. Yeah, see, dying for free like that opens the door for them to maybe win. So, let's say if I don't die there and I kill one or two and I get out, they probably just FF15. See, this is where you just always have to be playing smart. You always have to be playing, like, you know, high tempo. I think a th something a lot of people seem to forget is, okay, if you ever had a bad game and your team was, like, just flaming you all game, that's what happens to enemies, too. So, if you're just botting somebody, just running them down... Their team is 100% flaming them. Because this game, toxic. Toxic, boy. Alright, but either way. 
Mountain Drag's actually insanely OP Dragon, because you get that Mountain Drag, and then Baron's just free. And with an Assassin, it's actually super good, because you just you just make a pick. You make a pick, you deny Vision. Vision control is very important. As a jungler, you don't have to... It doesn't matter too much. I mean, get a control word every now and then. But yeah. Alright, so we get this objective. We get some camps. Ah, oh, that's a free kill. Use your OP kit to get free kills, boys. My E. Oh, oh. 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 Oh, Mr. Cat evolved with the host. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. The best cat arena in the world. How did I miss? Um, it appears I have misstepped. Well, that ulti did so much damage. <laughs> Sometimes you miss, but your champion's just that ahead. You don't have to play perfectly, boys. Just remember this. <laughs> oh, God, dude. Ah, okay. Sorry, my mechanics are a little bit off. I'm hungry. I'm a little bit hungry, you know. All right, let me get Edge of Night. That, that item is super OP on Assassin's Band, because you just go in, and watch, you'll see. You boys will see very fast. Can I get Stopwatch? Nah, 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 nah. Listen, I play to carry, not be carried. Stopwatch is an item where you use it in a fight, and then team carries you. I'm not that type of player, you know. I like to be the carry. All right, let's see. They're fighting bot lane. Vi is Aftershock and all that, so. She's not super tanky, because she doesn't have Tabby, so I think I can go kill them all here. Watch. I'm hungry too. Want to order something at the same time and eat at the same time. So it seems like we're eating together online. Oh yes, sir. That sounds very ideal. Yeah, see, that's why Blue can't can solo carry super hard. And now I just wait. Let her be the fish. And then I steal the kill heroically. Pet the time, boys. Pet the time. Wait, am I fast enough? Wait. Dude, 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 dude. Yo, 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 No! This isn't gonna be a pet title day, I took too long. Ah, unofficial, whatever. It should have been one, because she still hasn't respawned, but whatever, man. I still went for it. That Jinx is a little bit of a psychopath. Try and kite me out. Once you get last whisper, I just annihilate all, every single one of them. Ooh, my boy, thanks so much for all those bits. See, so this is just how you snowball. People always wonder how you get that fed where you just pop them like that. It's all from your early game, all from your pathing, all from every right decision you make, every little gold you pick up. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. So now you guys know how to 1v9 with Blue Cane. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments down below. I'll try to answer. <laughs> oh, she got her stone off. No, I was too slow. Ah, if I was cat evolved with 2 million APM, I think I would have had them. Whatever, it's fine. Wait, we're not in the game yet? Alright. Alright, I'll end it the traditional way. Don't worry, I'll end it the traditional way. We get Baron, and then we go top, and then we end the game. Easy clap. Blue buff. Oh, yes. Where have you been? my entire life holy quackamole <laughs> exhausted
exhausted. Okay, I'm going out. She's gonna hold me. Penta time, boys! Where is she? Where is she? Sutter up for me. Sutter! Dude! You're... That's not, that's not a homie, man. That's not a homie, bro. Ah, oh, dude. Ah, oh, dude. Okay. Ah, oh, they should give something to Catavolt. Bro. Bro. Why is Twitch chat saying, please clip it? Don't. It's not worth clipping, it's just me dying. If it was a Penta, sure. It wasn't. It was a quadra kill and me giving a 1k shutdown. Okay, let's end the game. No one's learning from this experience. They're just laughing at me. They're all having a big laugh. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's close it out. I'm full build. Get the dragon. Do the Baron. Get dragged, do Baron. Okay, let's go. Meet me there. I'll be there. See, shot calling, boys. Then we just group it up and end the game. Get away from my blue, man. Bruh. Man, you could be, you could be 24 and 3 and your laners will still take blue from you. Remember that. Doesn't matter what elo you're in. Man! Jeez Louise. If she steals this, I'm gonna be really, really bad. Oh wait, that did so much damage to me, that rise. What? I had my edge night on. Ah, oh, whatever. I'm 24 and 3, man! Whatever, I think we win. <laughs> that vein blew me up. See, that's why the end game's early, because you kind of fall off. A GG. A GG, boys. Alright, that was a really good game. Ah, yeah, good game. Two thumbs up from your boy. GG, my team. Peace out, YouTube.